Hello Beginner Dragon, this is Mr. Van, and today is going to be the uh, end of the first month, aka the fourth week, and that means it's stripe test. So, um, what you gotta have is your top, which looks like this, and your pants, which won't look exactly like these. They're probably gonna be white and without any stripes. But, um, yeah, so what you're gonna need to know is your physical and mental goal, which I will be doing a short review of um, upcoming and you're also going to need your form and your idle intro. If you guys don't know those, um, go back to previous videos. You guys have a day to do it and I don't even know if you guys have to do it by today. I think you guys can do it by like next week or whatever. I don't know exactly when they're actually checking when you do this, but yeah. Um, so you guys can review those videos. You guys can learn them. Um, and then come back and be like, okay, I got this now. But anyways, um, first we're going to review our physical and mental goal really, really quickly. I'm not going to go into too much depth because this is technically a test. So I shouldn't be telling you exactly what you need to know. And I should just be telling you really brief stuff and you guys should be like, oh, I understand. So number one, reaction speed. That's one of your physical goals. Uh, reaction speed, basically how fast you react to something. If you guys don't know what that means, go back to previous videos. Number two, explosive speed, how fast you start, how fast you actually go from the beginning. Um, and number three is going to be illusion of speed. So that's tricking people into thinking that you're faster than you are. And yeah, so those are the three things and that is all just incorporated into your physical goal of speed. Wow, shocker, they all say speed in the name, so no wonder that it's incorporated into speed. Anyways, now on to our mental goal, which is the student creed. So student creed number one, uh, I'm just going to say the student creed. I'm not going to tell you what everything means. You guys should know it by now. Uh, I shouldn't be telling you this means this, this, and this because this word says this and that word says that. No, you guys should just know this by now because I've said it so many times or you guys can just Google definitions of words, like self-discipline, if you guys don't know what that means, you can Google it and even find it in a dictionary if you have a paper dictionary, and yeah, you'll understand what the words mean. So student creed number one, I must develop myself in a positive manner and avoid anything that could reduce my mental growth or physical health. Number two, I must develop self-discipline in order to bring out the best in myself and others. And number three, I must use common sense before self-defense and never be abusive or offensive. Basically is that. Um, again, if you guys don't know what those words mean, or you don't know what the student creed is, uh, go back to previous videos. You guys can understand it way better than just those words. Um, but yeah, um, if you guys don't know what those words mean, try and break it down into words that you do know. Um, again, I'm not going to tell you what the words mean. I'm just going to tell you. Go back to previous videos, I explained it in way more depth, and this is technically a test, so I can't give you any answers. So, moving on to our uh, warm-up. Again, I really don't care what warm-up that you do, I just say that you guys have to do one. Um, again, if you guys have a basketball game coming up and you want to get warmed up for that, uh, go ahead and do your basketball warm-up and then come and finish this video off later Or if you have a soccer game coming up and you really really want to do well because I don't know You want to impress your friends or something like that or you want to show off to your dad because your dad is really proud of you or Something like that Go and do your soccer warm-up. Maybe start dribbling a ball or something and yeah, that could be your warm-up I'm not telling you you have to do that warm-up uh, if you guys have a um i don't know um tennis let's say you have a tennis match uh you can do your forearms and your backhands uh really really quick do a quick warm-up about that maybe do some push-ups in the middle of it uh, i'm not going to tell you what warm-up that you have to do i'm just telling you this is the warm-up that i do um again you guys don't have to listen to me you guys can just move forward into the video and see what you have to do for your strike test, and then you can just do that after you do your warm up for basketball, for soccer, for baseball, for tennis, for whatever. But this is the warm up that I'm going to be doing. Uh, it's not anything 
really too special. It's just a warm up that I do for uh, my physical growth um, because um, I like doing a bunch of tricks and tricks usually include your core and your leg muscles. It doesn't really involve your arms that much for the tricks that I do. So um, what I usually do is a couple jumps. So when I do my warm ups, we do something like this where we're just hopping in place for let's say about a minute. So I'm not gonna go for an actual minute because I don't wanna waste that much time for you guys. Uh, you guys can do it for one minute. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, you guys can do it to 30 seconds. Please don't just do it for 10 seconds because 10 seconds is really, really, really fast. If you guys are doing something really intense, like tuck jumps, if you guys don't know what tuck jumps are, tuck jumps, bringing your knees up to your chest, that's, that's perfectly fine. Do 10 seconds of those. But if it's just easy, just hopping like this, do it for like a minute, half a minute, two minutes, however long that will get you to breathe a little heavier. After that, I do side to side. I'm sorry if you're hearing like the earth rumble because I'm jumping and you're technically on the ground. But uh, yeah, side to side. And then you can do front to back. Again, both of those can be 30 seconds, 40 seconds, one minute, two minutes, however long that you guys want. If you guys are doing this right, even if you guys are just copying what I'm doing, your back of your calves right here should be starting to hurt a little bit, like a little burn. But it shouldn't be too much. You guys shouldn't be sweating. You guys shouldn't be heaving because it's not that much yet. After I do this, you can do up, down, side, side, up, down, side, side, things like that. And do that for a minute. And then you guys can take a little breather, get a sip of water. And then you can do some core muscles, such as a plank or crunches or whatever. So that can be 30 seconds. So let's say I wanna do planks for today. So plank, 30 seconds, 10, one minute, um, two minutes, one and a half minutes, 45 seconds, doesn't matter to me. Or same thing with crunches, one minute, two minutes, however long. Um, yeah, so after that, take a breather, stretch, make sure that you guys stretch after a warm up. If you guys do not stretch after a warm up, trust me, you will hurt yourself. Um, you can pull muscles, you can um, get really tense, and then uh, tear something. Um, you can roll over your ankle, which hurts as well. Um, what, are your, what are some other things? Um, hmm, pull muscle, pull something. Yeah, uh, there's a bunch of stuff that you can do to your muscles if you guys don't stretch. So please stretch. Uh, I know that uh, my IT band, if you guys don't know, an IT band is what connects your hip all the way to your heel or something like that. I think it's to your knee actually. I don't know exactly. I just remember um, fall of last year, uh, my IT band was really tight because I wasn't stretching enough. So please stretch, stretch, stretch so that you guys don't hurt yourself. And if your IT band is tight, um, then if it snaps, you're gonna not be able to walk on that leg for about, I think it was a year. So make sure you stretch so that you guys can walk for a year. Um, yeah, so now that we've gone over that, we are going to be going on to our form and our idle line trouble. So again, I'm not gonna be giving you the answers. I'm just gonna show it off really, really uh, simply. So I'm gonna show it off into this front angle and then to the side angle over here. And hopefully, fingers crossed, you guys can just watch it and uh, go over it and do it for a video or a picture and then you can actually show it off and post it on Facebook to get your strike. So first, your form. Driving form three, sir. So you put up three fingers, courtesy or bow, however you wanna say that, and then bring it back up. Get into your guard stance so that your left foot is in the front. Up, in, out. Tie your claw, turn the foot, front kick, turn the foot, pizza kick. 
So pretty simple. Uh, again, I'm not going into any detail. I don't want to give you any answers that you might uh, have already. So uh, make sure that you guys are actually doing this instead of just copying what I do. Try and remember what you're actually supposed to be doing. And then if you need any help, then refer to the video. So once again, I'm gonna do it again. So left guard stance, up and out, tiger claw, turn the foot, front kick, turn the foot, pizza kick, making sure not to hit the wall or anything that's nearby. So we're gonna do one last thing, which is our I don't want trouble. So I don't want trouble, get into your guard stance, up block, tiger claw, in block, tiger claw, out block, tiger claw. And then from the side angle, I don't want trouble, get into your guard stance, get into your guard stance, up block, tiger claw, in block, tiger claw, out block, tiger claw. And that is going to be it for me. Um, hopefully I didn't miss anything that you guys need, but again, uh, just go back to past videos if you guys need anything really important, like if you need to know how many degrees you have to turn your foot for a front kick. I'm not going into too many specifics right now, but in the past videos, I'm sure I did. And yeah, uh, have a good day.